Hello everyone, my name is Javin and this is my YouTube channel. And the question I set out to answer today in the video is how much does it cost to complete a set of Pokemon cards? I did all the hard math work so you didn't have to. Alright, now before we get into those cold hard numbers, I wanted to explain a bit about what a full complete set is of Pokemon cards. So a complete set means that you have every hollow, every regular card, um, from the set, you can see the set size here, and then there's even secret rares in the sets um, that are past the set number. And you also have to have every reverse hollow as well. That makes up a complete set, so it's a lot of cards uh, for complete sets. How much money does it take then to complete a set? Um, you know, it depends, varies on the set, but today I decided I would look at Sun and Moon base set to determine the cost <clears throat> when you're buying singles for the set, which is the cheapest way to do it uh, to complete that entire set. Uh, is it going to cost $1? Is it going to cost $2? It's going to cost a little bit more than those $2. Money, 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 money. Okay, looking here at Sun and Moon base set, which includes all of these cards, lots and lots of them. You can see my face here if you want to. Lots and lots of them, including all these secret rares and others that are in this set. So you can see, looks like there are 163 if you include all those secret rares in this set so we're going to be looking at how much does it cost if you want to collect that entire amount plus all the reverse hollows i did all the math for you as you can see this is why you should stay in school kids at least until until middle school that way you know how to put numbers in a calculator and you can do basic addition so that would be my suggestion kids stay in school until you get to middle school then do whatever you want make youtube videos i don't know and these numbers currently are based on pricings in um, January of 2018 and they will be subject to change as new cards come out, old cards are gone, and uh, new decks come about. Um, so some of these prices will go up, some of them will go down, so it just will change over time. So maybe this won't be true in a few months, but these are the prices as of today. Alright, so in Sun and Moon base set there are about 100 well exactly 126 regular pokemon and uh, trainer energy card things and that also includes um the hollows they're not really very expensive either so i just bunched them in and i rounded the average cost for the prices of those cards so i determined that the average price was about 35 cents or so for whatever singles from that bulk selection essentially including hollows some of those are a little bit more but i rounded it and um you know some of them are less some of them are more so it's about 35 cents anyway um for those 126 cards which comes out to 44 dollars and 10 cents that's a lot of money for those commons uncommons and rares a few hollows mixed in there we're not even into any of the, the ultra rares gx's full arts or anything all right, so now let's talk reverse rares. Um, if you're going to be ordering these singles, and there are 126 available reverses that you could get, um, the cost is going to come then out to about $63, according to my expert calculations. So we're already at a ho over $100, and we have not even talked about any of the GXs or uh, secret rares at all. Now you can see how I did it here took the um the gx's and other cards and i uh took the pricing for their uh regular version their full art and then their hyper rare version added it all up at the end really complicated math stuff here so for example if you want all of the versions of just lunala gx which includes the regular gx the full art and the hyper rare uh, you're going to be spending around 22 or 23 dollars or so to get those three different cards and that's just for one of the gx's there next we got those full art trainers and uh those include lily team skull grunt professor the kooky guy i don't know and lima and uh those come out to about 30 dollars or so i got 29 dollars and 16 cents uh if you want to get all those here's where the real kicker comes in and that's with the uh secret rare other cards the um the not trainers the items and uh We've got the Nest Ball, the Rotom Dex, the Switch, the Ultra Ball, uh, the Psychic Energy, and Steel Energy. And those add up to about $160. All right, so I know you're all at the edge of your seats right now in anticipation. How much does it cost to complete a set? Right, drum roll, please. 
adding all those numbers up with my calculator, the final total comes out to $482.53 to complete that set. That's reverse uh, regulars, uh, your GXs, your full arts, your hyper rares, and everything, your secret rares, it's all there. It's going to cost you almost $500 to complete just one set. That is crazy to me. Those commons and uncommons really do add up there if you're going buying singles uh, for those. Wow, that's a lot of money to complete a set. That's why I'll never be doing it. I, I Nope, 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 nope. Well, let me know in the comments if you were surprised by that number. I was actually pretty surprised by how large that number is. I would have guessed it would be closer to $200, $250, but it's almost $500 for one set. And uh, you know what? It's not even the most expensive set in the Sun and Moon series. So if you'd like me to do future videos about how expensive is that set, let me know in the comments which sets you would like to see me go over, find out those prices, and analyze in depth. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been another episode of... The first episode of... How much is that set?